Hello everyone, Frankie Love, back with you today to give you your SmackDown results for this Friday. SmackDown this week emanates from the hallowed halls of Madison Square Garden, where ECW was supposedly live this week. Coincidence? I think not. Anyway, the original plan for the main event was a scramble match, which was now changed into a fatal four way match to determine the number one contender. Fatal four way participants this time were Chris Jericho, Kane, Rey Mysterio, and Jeff Hardy. Now, of course, in the scramble match, uh, Kali and Morrison were involved in. For whatever reason, they're gone. Anyway, show starts off. Jericho comes to the ring in a suit. Jericho said that while things may have changed regarding what show he's on, what remains the same is how clueless and pathetic the fans are by not knowing how great he is. He said that he had a mission statement for everyone and that he was taking over. SmackDown is now his show and there's nothing anyone can do about it. Okay? Jericho said it's a travesty he has to compete in a fatal four-way because he should already be the number one contender. He said he would go on to Judgment Day to win the world title and nothing would stop him. Edge come out and mockingly introduced Jericho to the crowd. Edge pointed out that Jericho is a former world champ who lost his belt to Cena. He said that Jericho has never beaten Cena. While well, Edge is beating him in a last man standing bout to become a nine time world champion. Edge told Jericho that it's his show and he was the main event. He said no one e he <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. He said that no one who was drafted over was going to rock the boat. Fans chanted for Cena. Hi! Edge also tells Jericho to save his speeches because SmackDown wasn't his to take because it's his show. Okay. Okay, it's now. Right, here we go with more, more of the bullshit. Punk comes out. Punk introduces himself and reminded everyone that he was Mr. Money in the Bank. He says that everyone must remember him from such moments. And they showed a bunch of clips, you know, when he, he cashed in it, you know, money in the bank to beat Edge last year or this year, whenever the fuck it was, who really cares. Punk says that later on tonight, and Jericho goes to cut him off and says that no one cares about what Punk has to say. Jericho tells him that uh, he had no right to get involved and to leave right now. Yeah, okay, like Punk's going to leave. So anyway, Punk doesn't leave. And Jericho said he's had enough of being disrespected and walks off. Punk tries to talk again, and this time Edge cuts him off and saying no one cares about what he has to say. Edge tries to walk off, but Punk stops him. Okay? Punk said it's a new era on SmackDown because Vicky Guerrero is no longer GM. Punk also states that the new GM Teddy Long told Punk to come out and tell Edge that he would be competing against him later tonight. Edge blows him off and says it's going to be non-title. And then Punk reminds him that he could cash in money in the bank anytime. Which includes tonight. He says that he's going to take Edge out with the go to sleep, you know, and then cash in money in the bank to become the world champion. So, of course, you know, basically what he's saying is he's going to beat him in the non-title match with the go to sleep. And then immediately cash in money in the bank and beat him for the title. Okay, whatever. Then, here's a surprising match. John Morrison pins Shelton Benjamin with the Moonlight Drive. They do a little backstage segment where Chris Jericho complains to Teddy Long saying that he should have been number one contender after beating three legends at WrestleMania. Kali shows up. Jericho says that he knows Kali respects him. You know, through Runjin, you know, you know, he tells him that uh, Kali thinks he should stop wanting and get over himself. And, of course, this pisses off Jericho. Okay, your fatal four-way match. Okay. Hardy nails Kane with the swanton, but Jericho pulls him out of the ring and covers him. So Kane's eliminated. Kane beats the fucking piss out of Hardy on the floor. And we have Ray going for a springboard splash, but Jericho nails him with a chair and gets DQ'd. Okay. 
So you have two guys left now, Ray and Hardy. They go back and forth having some pretty good exchanges, I gotta tell you that, okay? In the end, though, Ray hits the West Coast pop, but Hardy, Hardy turns it into a pin combination for a clean pin. So, your winner is Jeff Hardy now. Jeff Hardy's your number one contender, okay? Then we have another backstage segment where Jericho storms into Teddy Long's office but finds Maria, who is waiting to show off her clothing line. Jericho complains, storms off, and Edge shows up. Edge then complains to Maria about having to wrestle tonight, you know, and he was going to call his wife. Why they even have this dumb bitch Marie involved in this crap is beyond me. So anyway, let's go on. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm having real bad allergies today. Anyway, Crime Time comes out to the ring, cuts a promo. They put over being in their hometown and on their first official night on SmackDown, you know. They say they're gonna, they were going to have a Brooklyn dan Brooklyn Breakdown Dance Contest with the Divas. Uh, but why? When it was uh, two fucking divas, Layla and Eve. Layla was good. Obviously, Eve won because you know it was the whole fan voting crap, and she's a and she's a fan favorite. You know, of course, you know, you know Layla slaps Eve. Eve falls down. There's a little cat fight. Whoop the fucking do. Okay, once again, backstage segment again. That that bitch Sherry from the View uh, has a Ric Flair style robe. She tells MVP she would love to show him around on The View on Monday. Excuse me one moment, please. Once again, sorry about that. Like I said, it's my allergies. Then, okay, we have your match that's been pushed. MVP defeats Dolph Ziggler, retaining the U.S. title. That ch chick Sherry from The View, she's in a ring slide, and at one point slaps Dolph Ziggler because he asks her for a kiss. Backstage, again, Jericho is screaming at Teddy Long. Morrison walks past him, and then Jericho asks him what he's looking at. Morrison says, a loser. So Jericho slaps him. They have a brief pull apart. CM Punk, you know, la 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 la, walks through in the middle of it with a smirk on his face. I fucking hate this shit, I tell you. Okay. Then it's time for your now main event, which wasn't the main event before, but is now because, you know, this is more important. In a non-title match, CM Punk defeats Edge with the go to sleep. However, Punk was about to cash in his briefcase, but unfortunately, before the bell was able to ring, Umaga came in from the crowd, laid out Punk with the Samoan Spike. Umaga then left through the crowd. Edge grabbed the briefcase and was about to hit Punk with it. But then Jeff Hardy runs out. Nails Edge. Gives Edge to swan time. Hardy stands over Edge to end the show. And Punk just grabs the briefcase. Walks off. And doesn't cash it in. Okay, whatever. And then of course in your dark match main event. Which we saw in the arena. Which you will not see on television. Batista, John Cena, and Rey Mysterio defeat Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, and Edge. God almighty. What the fuck are they doing? I don't know. But anyway, that's your Friday Night Smackdown results for this week, May 1st. Frankie Love, I'm out.